hypothesis testing and errors. Why does a change in the significance level lead to a change in type 1 and type 2 errors? We know that type 1 errors are based on the size of the rejection region and type 2 errors are based on the size of the acceptance region. So as an example, if we're testing the population proportion and we come to this as the acceptance region and this as the rejection region and the rejection region is based on the significance level so let's see what would happen if we make the significance level smaller so using a smaller significance level this critical region shrinks and because this region is smaller the probability of a type 1 error is now smaller On the other hand, this acceptance region is now larger. Type 2 errors depend on the size of the acceptance region, so the probability of a type 2 error has increased, while the probability of a type 1 error has decreased. In this example, the rejection region is now larger because we're using a larger significance level. Because the rejection region is larger here, the probability of a type 1 error just increased. However, the probability of a type 2 error is based on the acceptance region, which is now smaller. So the probability of a type 2 error decreased, while the probability of a type 1 error has increased. This is how modifying the significance level has an impact on the probability of type 1 and type 2 errors. So type 1 and type 2 errors are linked. In this example we're testing a population mean using a normal distribution. So we have a continuous variable. The significance level is 5%. So this is our rejection region which can be used to calculate the probability of type 1 errors and the size of this acceptance region can be used to calculate the probability of type 2 errors. So let's see what happens if we make the rejection region larger. So using an increased significance level, so a 10% significance level, makes the rejection region larger, so the probability of a type 1 error has increased, but the acceptance region is smaller compared to before. So if, this, if, if the acceptance region is smaller, then the probability of a type 2 error has decreased.